Welcome to the band tutorial on transition state search with a partial Hessian. And this one we're going to be doing a molecule either absorbed on a surface or above a surface. First thing we're going to do is construct the surface. This one will be lithium. Enter the lattice parameters there and we can use the slice tool to create a one layer slab of lithium. Uh, we want to expand this cell, so we're going to define a supercell, two by two units of that. Very simply done. And now we're going to add a hydrogen molecule, and we want this to be above the plane of the slab. So we're entering those parameters right now. first thing we're going to do here is a frequency calculation and this will be only done for the hydrogen molecule so we've selected that shift click on both atoms and then enter the restraints there so we're just about set to run this calculation give it a des descriptive name and send it on its way Now frequency calculations always take a bit of time. This one here where we've cut down to a single zeta basis set in order to save time. You usually should never go as low as a SZ unless absolutely necessary. But this is only a tutorial and we want to get done quickly so we cut down our basis set to the bare minimum. And this should take about one minute. it looks like it's completed. So don't read the coordinates in, but just visualize the results here with uh, ADF spectra. And you can see two, uh, two distinct peaks. Ignore the ones at zero, those are simply artifacts. And here we have one mode of the hydrogen moving away from the lithium. And this is the simple stretch within the molecule. Now we're going to calculate the transition state. And for this one, we need to constrain the lithium atoms because we're going to be doing something akin to a geometry optimization and we don't want the lithiums to move. So we've selected everything except the hydrogen and turned on restraints for those. And we're going to use the initial Hessian from our previous calculation to run this transition state search. Now this one's going to take quite a bit longer than the frequencies calculation, so we'll step away for a few minutes here. And we're back. On my machine, that took about five and a half minutes, but of course, all computers are different, so your mileage may vary. And there is the transition state that we found. And we can pull open ADF Movie to see exactly what went on in those five and a half minutes as it was searching for the transition state. Can visualize it. The energy profile is on the left. We're going from a minimum up to a higher energy state. And there's what's happening right there. Okay, that brings this tutorial for to a close. Thank you for watching.